Hey guys, Anders here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some useful tips and tricks I've picked up over my playtime in Battlefield 2042. We'll be going over some general settings tips that are very, very easily missed, gameplay tips, and just overall my experience with Battlefield 2042 and what I find makes my playtime a little bit better and a little more, bit more effective. And a quick suggestion for the people that want more one-on-one -on -one personal help with getting better at the game, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions through Medify. The link is in the description. I've worked with people all over the world, all age groups, all skill levels. Even, even I had a dad buy his son a lesson with me for his birthday. So that was pretty interesting. They are paid just for full disclosure there, but let's get right into the tips and tricks. Tip number one, this I actually found out very recently. So, as some of you may know, a lot of people don't think you can actually increase the size of your minimap at all in Battlefield 2042, including me up until about two weeks ago when someone in my Twitch channel suggested that I change this setting in the display UI HUD section. So, the funny part is, there is a way to actually change your minimap sizing, but it's not in the minimap section. So, round of applause, Dice, you really hit it out of the park every single time. Where you go to change this setting, you want to open your options menu, go ahead and go into display, HUD general, and then go to world info scale. You can actually just set it all the way up to 125, which would increase your minimap size by 25%. It will also increase the names of your squad mates in the bottom left hand corner as well, because for some reason they tied the minimap size to a UI element and didn't make the minimap size a independent UI element. But again, we all know DICE hits everything out of the park and they know exactly what they're doing. Moving on to tip number two, which also has to do with your settings, you need to make sure you have crosshair projection, motion blur, and screen shake turned off. These three things are just really just get in the way of gameplay and you really don't want to have them on. You'd be surprised how many people play with completely default settings and never even look into the menu. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with these settings, it's time to go on the options menu and turn them off. I will put the location of these settings on the screen for you right now. Moving on to tip number three, this has to do with your plus menu. Now, the plus menu default bind on PC is really bad. I think it's T or something. And I use the plus menu all the time, specifically for quick switching. Now, I'll show you guys what quick switching is. But first of all, you're going to want to change the plus menu bind to something you can access a little more quickly. Because, you know, reaching across your keyboard with your finger hitting T. And then like, oh, mousing over something. Uh, oh, I got to switch. Uh, you know, it's just way slower than using the numbers if you look in the center of your plus menu here you will see that there is a number corresponding to each row one is your sights two is your muzzle attachments three is your underbarrel or grips and four is your ammo for me i bind my plus menu to my uh, side of my mouse so it's easily accessible and say I'm like in a firefight, right? Like, oh my god, I have, I have, I have 20 bullets off. Oh, oh shit. Then like I'm in cover. Boom. Go over here, switch ammo types. See how easy that, see how fast that was? Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of ammo types again. Okay. Oh, I gotta switch ammo types again. Oh, I wanna put a suppressor on. Okay, cool, nice. Great. Oh, I wanna take that off. Nice. Oh, I wanna switch sights. Gotta kill this guy. Oh, gotta switch ammo types again. So. That is definitely one of the most useful tips I have learned in Battlefield 2042. To quick switch, really all you have to do is you just have to use the numbers instead of uh, mousing around. I believe this is possible on controller as well, but uh, if it's not, I guess PC players have the advantage here, but I'm pretty sure that you can do this on controller. I've seen some of my friends do it. So yeah, quick switching, definitely utilize that in your gameplay. You're going to need to rebind your plus menu though. All right, so tip number four, gonna be some really general movement things that have picked up while playing this game. So first of all, as a lot of you know, this game has something called traversal sprint, and there's a setting that you can turn on to always use traversal sprint. I personally use this, but just know that you are going to take a little longer to actually get your gun up from stopping and sprinting. This is called sprint to fire time. You will have a sprint to fire time penalty. Uh, you don't have to play with this on. I just personally prefer that. Another thing that is uh, generally very useful to get down in this game, uh, you want to have the kind of the, I call it the slide hop hop down. 
So you want to just slide and then you know you can hop twice. Do not hype. Do not uh, hop more than twice after you slide. This can help you get into cover. Um, even just jumping once after can really gain you some very beneficial engagement. You know, jump peaks on people. Like say you want to jump peek a guy over here. You know, you can you know slide, jump, jump, slide, jump, jump, you know, and you can be accurate while you shoot stuff like that. Um, another thing you want to do in this game a lot, you want to make sure that you have hold to crouch bound on a key that is easily accessible. Not toggle crouch. Toggle crouch is this, right? I hit toggle crouch once. Obviously, it's toggle, so I am staying in crouch. You want hold to crouch for this. Uh, while you're moving around in combat in this game, just be wary that you can spam crouch, and that does affect your movement on your enemy screen, which makes you harder to hit. Now... You can use this in combination with hitting AD80. So as you can see here, I kind of call this the, uh, the crab bounce or the crab walk, I think people call it. And I'm crouch spamming and AD spamming at the same time, essentially. And of course, this makes me harder to hit. Uh, you can obviously do this on you know any platform. Just make sure you have a hold to crouch. That is something you're going to need for this. Another thing important to note about this game, with every single specialist in the entire game, except for McKay, you're going to move faster when you're not ADSing. Now, with McKay, you can move the same speed that you move while you're un-ADSed in ADS, which is why McKay is probably the best specialist in the entire game. So, if you're playing an infantry map, in my opinion, there is no point in playing any other specialist but McKay. But in general, that uh, first tip was, if you want to peek a corner, something like this, don't peek at ADS unless you're with McKay like this. Because what's going to happen is you're going to peek out and you're just going to be real slow and you're going to, you know, ugh, you're going to inch your way out and then die. So how you kind of have to peek corners in this game if you're not playing McKay is kind of, say you're behind this wall and there's a guy like, I don't know, over there. Um, if you want to peek him, you're going to want to peek in hip fire first a little bit and kind of come up like this from a crouch. See how you get that really quick peek? And then you can, you know, you can come up and really peek him fast like that. So that's just a quick little peeking tip for all characters besides McKay. If you're McKay, I mean, you can literally just fucking, you know, fly out of here. You can just do whatever you want. Uh, you don't really have to worry about that. Another thing with movement in this game, if you are far away from somebody and you feel as though you have the drop on them, I would recommend crouching in this game to shoot and stay crouched because this actually makes you more accurate. I actually use this way more than I thought I would. So you're just going to want to make sure that you are crouched if you feel like you had the opportunity to catch someone off guard because you will eventually hit them uh, <laughs> way more accurately. But this game is not working currently while I'm making this video, as you can see with the note regs on these stationary targets. Another thing that's very useful in all Battlefield games, you want to utilize prone a lot. Don't do this, right? Don't fucking do this, okay? I see a lot of people doing this on the Battlefield, okay? Don't don't be one of these people, okay? I will kill you every time. Do you understand? Don't do that. How you want to use prone is you really want to try to use prone to uh, um, obviously get into cover that is not cover uh, when you're crouching. My head is exposed here when I'm crouched. Obviously, it's not cover when I'm standing. You have to use this while you're prone. And a lot of the time, how to use cover when you're prone is you want to use it quickly. So say someone's like pushing you and he's like right there. If he say he's already knows where you are, you're 50 HP, you can really use prone very effectively because you can stand up pretty quickly, you know, really cut him off again real fast. You can really hit it faster than you think and be hidden again. So you can use this for any piece of cover that you feel will make you uh, hidden if you prone. Like I'll, you can do it for, uh, with hills, for instance, obviously. So obviously, if you're just peeking this hill right here, and all you need to do is just prone. Boom, you're you're completely fine. Prone. You can even what I I you can even do what I like to call like a little inchworm. You can kind of you know prone stand up, prone stand up, prone stand up, prone stand up. Now, obviously, you could just you know run down the hill and then run over here. But if you need to maintain eyes on someone, you can you know prone. Run after you kill him, just to make sure that you're out of line of sight. So, 
that is how you want to use prone in i'd say pretty much all battlefield games if you ever watch me play you'll notice that i prone probably more than most players i'd say i have seen some comments that say uh wow you know it, enders you're, you're really prone a lot but <laughs> you, you yell at other people for proning but hey i prone correctly okay that's all that matters so these are just general movement tips. If you want to use this trainer that I'm using right now, the code is in the upper right-hand corner, A-A-N-J-7-Z. And that is going to do it for this video. Thank you, uh, Corporal L. Walls, for being a test subject on today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Drop a like. Join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. And once again, one-on-one -on -one coaching tips uh, I do provide through Metify. That link will also be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one.